530, fellas. 5.30 a.m., Brunswick, Georgia. Here we come. What's up, guys? How are you? What up? It is 6.26 in the morning. We've been on the road for an hour now. Heading to Brunswick, Georgia. We're playing in the Brunswick Invitational uh, Scratch Four Ball Tournament. Practice round today. Great dinner tonight. Tournament round tomorrow and the following day. So this is going to be our first ever like kind of travel vlog, if you will. So we're going to film a lot of content on the golf course, a lot of content off the golf course. It's going to be fun. But I am just in utter shock right now listening to my boy Dan. I'm telling you, he's turned over a new leaf. Yeah, talk, so talk, talk about a couple things, Dan. Yeah, a couple things. So I got a new set of sticks, um, Callaway Apex Pros. Um, that's what I do. I got them a half inch long, and I got them in the other day, and I, I hit them at the range, and they felt, I don't know, they felt good. I mean, I hit everything pretty much the same, but um, they felt a little heady, man. And I'm just like, you know, I've been playing these these Apex 2 irons for a couple months. I'm going to hold back, man. I'm going to hold back. I'm going to say, you know what? I'm not going to show up with a new set of sticks for a, for a you know, tournament like this. I'm going I'm to put the, the, uh, the Titleist back in the bag. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let the other ones rest over the weekend, okay? Because I, I know the distances on the other ones. Um, I don't want to have any kind of guesswork, man. So, you know, that, that's a that's a powerful thing for me to do, okay? I'm, new I'm, day, I'm, new I'm, man right here. New day, new man. I, I'm maturing, guys. I'm maturing, you know? And then yesterday I played, and, and uh, late in the day, you know, um, got a little putt and tip lesson. Not, not about my stroke, not about anything, but just, just, just in between the six, you know, six inches between my ears, you know, and, and I'm not going to tell you what he said to me, but all I know, I took it deep, I took it deep on the back nine, baby, all right, a little 69, okay, awesome. he did move the ball around, so I'm not going to post that score, um, I'm already at 1.7, I don't need to go down any lower than that, um, so anyway, we're excited, man, it's, it's what I'm not excited about, it's the fact that I woke up at, at 4.45 this morning, um, however, just like all of us golfers out there, it's a lot easier to wake up at 4.30 when you know you're going to the course, baby. That's right. Versus you going to work, so. Uh, so one, one last thing before Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, we wanna know what content's right. What do you guys, obviously we love doing this stuff. We gotta do it for our own fun and just kind of, you know, hope it adds value to you guys. But one thing cool about where we're playing, so Brunswick Country Club, supposed to be like one of the true original Donald Ross courses in, in America. Like the design is exactly the way that he designed it. Mm. Nothing's been changed. And I didn't know this until a few minutes ago, but that's Dan's favorite designer. So Favorite I, designer. There, there's a course up in North Carolina, if you guys ever have a chance to play, uh, Biltmore Forest, uh, Donald Ross. And uh, it's just cool, man, how he, just the green complexes and how like the the tee boxes are right next to the greens. It's just it's just a cool setup, um, and I love it. I love it, and I, and I believe Donald Ross is uh, Piner's number two. I believe, right? Yes, it's Donald Ross too. So, um, yeah, guys, we're excited, and uh, we're gonna have some good content. Like I said, uh, a little travel vlog, uh, talk about some restaurants we're gonna go to, um, and, and talk about the area in general. So, uh, definitely subscribe, guys. We'll talk to you soon. The original green drawings from 1938 from Donald Ross. Every one of them. How cool is that? All right, guys. Well, hang on. We just got here to Brunswick Country Club. Dan, tell us about your head cover here. So this is old school stuff, right? This head cover I had for about 25 years. I brought it out. I brought it out for this trip especially, and I want to show you something. This is one of the coolest head covers ever. So it's a chicken, right? Right. Well, if you go to the back of the chicken, it's got a little ball hole there, right? And, look at, <laughs> and then the ball just comes out and drops, right? It's fantastic. What a it's spread awesome. here. It's gravy-based. Okay. It has carrots and... Okay. Salad bar. Awesome. So, Dan's over here. 
There was the previous T box on hole two. Dan's got a gap. Ooh, tree. Carter's got him. Morning here. Gap wedge. What's up, guys? 57 yards here. The energy drink I had starting to kick in. We're feeling pretty good, and this is right in my wheelhouse. So, here's what we're gonna do. We got a little tight lie here. Doesn't matter, because I paid 159 for this bounce right here. So, this is gonna come in a little low. One hop, spin left, it's gonna be about two feet. Here we go. Really? Everything but the spin left. Yep, but okay. nice shot. Look at this beautiful shot. Six feet just above the hole. Okay, look at these slopes and these greens. All right, Nelson, hit you one tight. Oh, baby. Look at that shot. Beautiful. Massive New York style pizza. Fall off the Some boat. Wings. wings, man. Phenomenal. <laughs> Had a lot of wings in a lot of places. These are baked and they're extra well. And he did all flats for me. Phenomenal. And the pizza is killer as well. What's up, guys? What's up? Headed to round one. Runs with the invitational pool ball. You can hear the voice a little, a little off, a little, still a little head cold, but no big deal. It's not 100 degrees this morning. But Danny, how you feeling today, buddy? I feel good. We did a lot of prep work last night. Watched about six YouTube videos. Nelson almost tackled me in the hotel room. Um, he said I need to watch uh, videos of, of birds, of birds chirping, birdies, thinking about birdies. He said, quit watching these dang videos. Well, we worked on some stuff. I think, uh, I think Danny's going to be ready today. Let me, let me preface this. Like, when you're coming to a tournament, you don't want to be thinking of changing a lot of things in your swing. Unless you cannot keep the ball on the planet, which he couldn't do yesterday mm -hmm. with driver. Mm -hmm. It was... An absolute fireworks show. Left, right, I mean. Yeah, it was like really military wide, golf. Really wide fairways. But we'll see <laughs> if, uh, we'll see how today develops. Get ready for a post round recap. Yeah, man. And apparently this morning, um, I'm gonna be doing some intermittent fasting because my boy don't eat breakfast. So we ain't going to the Waffle House. No. Okay, we going right to the course. So stay tuned, boys. We'll talk to you soon. Round one, baby. Let's go. What's up, guys? What's up? Hello, tournament update. Uh, so we're through five holes. We're one under through five. We had just made the clutches par save of life. Oh yeah, baby. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Hello. Good. Nelson Dixon and Dan Constantino heading to the golf school. Golf school? Okay. Do you have an appointment today? Um, we do not. You don't have an appointment today? Nope. We're going to make one. You're going to make one? Yeah. So normally they would rather you guys call okay. to make an appointment because this is private property. Got it. So it's kind of like we got you got to be on a list 
basically you gotta have a pass in order to come past here. Sure. And they're making this kind of crack down on that. Okay. So you're just gonna have to call. There, if you call Sea Island, they're extremely Island, like just the Seattle and we're going to Google it. Okay. So okay. Their extension number. So just give them a call and then they can get you a report and then they get the system. Okay. Sounds good. Just loop right here. Yes, sir. Just loop it right around. Thank you. Thank you. That's a hard note. Hey, hey, man. What's going on, Parker? Uh, Dan Constantino. Hey, listen, me and my buddy Nelson, we're down here for a golf tournament um, the next couple days and we wanted to come check out y'all's golf school. I had a buddy who used to be a, a pro golfer down here and he told us to come out here, but they won't let us in the the, uh, the gate without some kind of appointment and stuff. Is there any way you can you can call up there or something and we can, we can just get out on the on the property? Uh, yes, sir. So would you go ahead and come out today? Yeah, we just, I mean, we're, we're actually, we were just outside the gate, so I figured I'd just give you guys a call and see if we can come out and check it out. Yeah, for sure. Uh, what's your first name? Uh, Dan Constantino. All right, sweet. Thanks, man. We'll be up there in a minute. Hey, we called. They said they're going to be calling up. Constantino and Dixon. All right, sorry. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Gotcha. No worries. We didn't know. I appreciate it. We had a co right. We got a friend that plays pro golf down here. Yeah. So he he left us out a little, a few details, but we got it. Sure. Right. right. Now we understand. Where do we we go appreciate from here? it. So you go right into the golf performance center. I'm not believing. I think it's like down at the end here. You'll see okay. some ruins. Okay. Some old ruins. Yes. Flags on them. And I think it's the one behind it or the one over here. But like I said, security, this is hard. We go. Gotcha. Got it. <laughs> we appreciate it. Thank you. Buckets. Buckets. We getting a tea time up in this joint. Dick's Sporting Goods. Dan, why, what are you buying and why? So, I know in that case I have like a hundred, a thousand golf balls in the house, but we're we're tied for second place, but we're in the final group tomorrow. So I'm bringing out TP5X high visible yellow because people get so pissed off when you show up with yellow golf balls. And I am gonna, we're gonna wear out some, some ass tomorrow, okay? And I got the sleeves. So I'm wearing sleeves and yellow golf balls. I, we cannot wait to meet the guys we're gonna beat tomorrow. I've got a four and sets up and everything and then the other one comes in at six. Gotcha. Hey, what's up guys? Danny C. All right, we're gonna do a little travel. I have no idea what he's doing right now, but Travel essentials when you're going on a guys trip, a tournament. What are, what are some things that you need? All right, so For obviously you. I'm 49 years old. Got to have the readers, man. Got to have them on my phone. I'm out at the restaurant looking at menus. Got to have the readers. 100% day two yellow golf ball. We are gonna wear them out today, <laughs> and nothing more people hate more than anything. Golfers <laughs> is a freaking yellow golf ball. It's so bright. It's incredible. Got to have the sleeves. <laughs> gotta have the sleeves, baby. Okay, I don't know how you work. Just shut them on. You got sleeves. So you look like a total tool when you're on the golf course. <laughs> you know, maybe I'm gonna put a towel on the back. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'm, we're, gonna, we're gonna surprise them, okay? What else we got? You gotta have the dude wipes. That's a staple. Just a must. Hashtag gotta have your dude wipes on the course and in the hotel room. Oh, and I even brought a little bit of dude pow powder. Methanol chill. Methanol chill with vitamin and aloe. This is really nice to throw down the, 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 the draws, you know what I'm saying? Um, what else do I have? Oh, pure protein. Got to have pure protein, 100%. A yes. um, little bit of oxygen. You got to have oxygen, man, when you're just like, stuff is phenomenal, right? It really just kind of gets you hyped up. You know, in addition to that, we got our excess energy drinks here. Um, oh yeah, we're, we're, I don't even know where we're at, right? But there's always one thing you always got to have. You gotta have the nine millimeters. What's up guys? We're uh, heading to the golf course, round two. We're T C 
second right now, and we're one shot back. So, Nelson, tell me your thoughts. Uh, what's going to happen today, bro? Yeah, so, well, we've gotten better every day. Uh, you'll see what we shot in the practice round, which is 500. And we shot 700 yesterday. So if we could shoot a 9 or 10 today, I think that would get it done. Um, we really we only birdied two par 4s yesterday. Played the par 5s 5 under, which was really good. Thanks really good. Dan, a great eagle by Dan. But, uh, <laughs> as you all saw, Dan bought yellow golf balls to try to, you know, mentally get in our opponent's head. But it's going to be a shootout. I'm glad, you know, we're in position. We're not out of it. We're right in there. Yeah, man, we did a little Googling last night uh, of who we're going to be playing with today. And one guy is like an All-American. and they played um, on the, the PGA Tour in Canada. PGA Tour in Canada. So he just got his amateur status back. Um, so it's another advice. If you guys are going to turn pro, stay pro, okay? When I stopped playing basketball, I didn't lower the rim to six feet and go play against third graders, all right? You couldn't make it as a pro, and that was your profession. Just stay. stay out of the amateur world. Yeah, stay out of the amateur world. We don't, we don't want you there. I mean, we're okay. professional salespeople. Right. We don't, we don't try to get our amateur status back. Yeah, I don't go work. I don't wash trays at Wendy's now. Okay. Sorry. I'm in sales. A little rant. See you guys. Peace out. Give you an idea of how our second round's going. Oh, so good. Well, guys, we just finished round two. Uh, we finished the tournament at six under. But if you remember, we started the day at seven under. And this is a best ball tournament, meaning mine and his combined score. And I won't let me say this. Dan did not have his partner. I was very, very bad. A little under the weather, and that's what I'm going to blame it on. I, I, I sucked today. But he sucks just in general. It's so bad. Like, it makes absolute no sense. Oh, it's, it's very frustrating. Um, I yellow, have some good shots, some bad shots. The yellow balls did not work. Did not work. These guys went out five under on the front nine. It just torched us. Yeah, they won the tournament, the guys we played with. But we cool guys. Going from like second to ninth. Awesome. Yeah. So we're trying. It's like 30 mile per hour wind. And yeah. These guys just blitzed it. Yep. And now we're driving back five hours to to Greenville, just reflecting on everything and how golf really is just insignificant in life. Um, <laughs> and we're driving down the road. We see a horse all caged up. So I'm going off on a rant about you know horses, how it's abuse and everything else. And Nelson's going off and everything I'm looking at right now is making me sick in my that's stomach. That's what bad golf does. To Okay. Especially when he has 37 putts in a day. 37 and putts I have today. 32 putts. 32 putts. These greens were hairy and it was blowing about 20, 25. I mean, it's, it's like. A, real quick, you can hear my voice like, when I'm standing over a putt, everything's still spinning. But that's no excuse. I should still find a way to make putts, and I did. Right. Worst putting performance I've ever had. And yes, well, I just and, my nose on and, the channel. And what happened, guys, is. He just couldn't get anything to fall, and what happens with that is you start putting more pressure on your long game, and, and then he just and then he tried to press, and it just wasn't good. I mean, these guys they, these guys he played with were really cool guys, and they were good golfers. I mean, one of them played on the Canadian Tour, and really cool guys. But one of the holes, like they couldn't miss anything early, and then we get on this one hole, and Nelson drives a par four. The one guy in the group duffs it in the bunker, short, and then holes out from the bunker. And then Nelson three putts for par. Like, they make birdie, we make par. We're thinking, all right, we're going to pick one up on them. And that's just how golf is, guys. Um, it's just a whirlwind. And, and uh, you know, at least we're not on the side of the road like that guy was. Um, you know, deal with car trouble. So, uh, knock on wood. But we appreciate you guys. Subscribe to our channel. Hopefully, we're going to have some, some content about some of the restaurants we, we ate and stuff. But... Um, yeah, we're going to keep this thing rolling.